Next fight is uh, one that is going to be particularly interesting because uh, we've been criticised at Duco for putting the brown butter bean up against bums. Uh, we have now put him up against a guy who is a legitimate pro athlete who is fit and is coming to fight. So I'd ask the Tongan there to come to the ring. To come to the ring. To come to the lectern, please. So, Lonnie, ITM prop, ITM cup prop for the Waikato rugby team, the Mulus. Um, if you could explain to the media why you wanted this fight and uh, what prompted you to take it on after seeing Brown Butter being demolish everyone else. Um, I was just, um, I was watching uh, John Lomu's brother fighting Father Ben and uh, I text off Ben said, I think I want to fight this dude. So, um, Ben ring Kirk and say, oh, I think we've got to follow, I want to fight Father Ben, but um, it would never happen. And, and then a week after, um, Bono Bean put a video up and said, um, someone to fight him from Waikato, and then Ben ringing me up and said, um, this is your chance to fight the Bono Bean, so yeah, yeah, fighting him. So again, uh, again, Tom and Bear, I know how you got the name Tom and Bear, you better explain why I call you the Tom and Bear, and everyone else is going to call you the Tom and Bear, you better tell that story. Um, it was a Skull Hoff, first time I met Skull Hoff, um, he came back from France playing rugby, and um, first time I shake his hand, he's like, how are you Tom and Bear? So, it's a scoop from there. <laughs> now, again, there is a, a noticeable size disadvantage for you up against Butterbean, and you're going to see it very shortly. It's the first time you guys have seen it. How do you counter that size advantage? Because he, there's no doubt in whatever you think about him, he's a bully in the ring. Yeah, no, he's a, um, you're right, he's a bully in the ring, but um, um, I'm bully in the ring too. Um, I've been fighting my whole life in Toma. Like, you know, living in Toma is you fighting for food and stuff, so yeah. um, I've, been, I've been fighting my whole life too. So, um, no, I look forward to it, and um, he's, he's a tall fella and got a reach on me, but um, um, yeah, I'll, I'll punch him, yeah, we'll <laughs> <laughs> Just stand there, because I'll bring him up over here. So this fight, paying it to TAV, uh, Brown Butterbean is a favourite of $1.77 head-to-head, -head, and the Tong and Bear, $1.97. This is a pro bout for two-minute rounds. Um, Brown Butterbean, if you come to the lectern, please. You've been hearing him talk about you being Peanut Butter Boy and you've been calling him Winnie the Pooh and everything else. Uh, I've been enjoying the build-up. Um, this is a different fight for you, though. Oh, not really. You know, it's, it's always going to be the same result. Like, this is my um, second pro fight now. I turned pro on Le Leopold's card. Um, you know, I, I take this matchup to me as an insult. You know, to all the training I've been, I wanted someone a bit tougher. I fight this guy with one hand, just gonna jab him the whole time. Like uh, he's got no idea, no. I've said it the whole time in my build. He's got absolutely no idea what he's in for. Like he, there's no. Um, he's a prop in rugby. Come on, you know. Like, what do they do? Just shut their heads up. Other people's, you know what? And um, wrap people on the ground. Like, what's a six pack gonna do? It doesn't make your chore any better. Your chores. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, that's good, you Actually, know? I think you might have to shave that, I'm serious, because of oh. like, pro fights, you've got to shave your beards. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that is part of the, it's part of the deal. No. Anyway, Willie, you're finished. Okay, um, you have, uh, you weighed 168 kilos for the uh, Batu Bay fight, you weighed 141 for the the last fight you did, the Lomu fight, where are you? Uh, 134 at the moment, so... Which is remarkable. Yeah. So that's down from 210 at the start of the year. Yep. Yeah, 210 kilos at the nines I was when I first came back, and um, yeah, I'm happy with the way I'm going. Uh, I'll be too good for this guy, and um, you know, move on to bigger and better things. Um, you know, I've trained hard. I, I, it's just, I'm actually really, really peeved that I've got this matchup because I train like I'm, I'm fighting for a, a title fight and I'm fighting this bum, you know. Like you, you said I'm always fighting bums, well he's no different, to be honest. <laughs> Let's just all be honest here. Like, I'm, I'm a supreme athlete. All <laughs> 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 oh, jokes aside, yeah. Okay, do you want to have the last say? Because he will have the last say on Friday without a doubt. Yeah. Um, as I was saying, we fought for the beans, beans on Facebook. Can we get a translator? Okay. <laughs> if I follow Bing's beats on Facebook, the Facebook will fall over, so thanks for that, Bada Bing. But um, no, nah, bring it on. You always say to bring it on, um, bring it on. And remember, there is a 15k knockout bonus if Tom and Bear was <laughs> to, to knock him out. You've got to do it, though. <laughs> right, stare down, and we're going to be... Um...
good beers and butter beans. More, please. Seventy-seven brown butter beans, slight favourite, head to head, and uh, Tom and Bear one ninety-seven. Remember, that's four two-minute rounds of pro boxing, and yes, that is a bit of a story. He will have to shave his beard. Next fight is uh, one that is going to be particularly interesting because uh, we've been criticised at Duco for putting the brown butter bean up against bums. Uh, we've now put him up against a guy who is a legitimate pro athlete who is fit and is coming to fight. So I'd ask the Tongan Bear to come to the ring. To come to the ring. To come to the lectern, please. So Lonnie, ITM prop, ITM cup prop for the Waikato rugby team, the Mulus. Um, if you could explain to the media why you wanted this fight and uh, what prompted you to take it on after seeing Brown Butter being demolish everyone else. <laughs> Um, I was just, um, I was watching uh, Tom Lomu's brother fighting for the pin, and uh, I text off Pin said, oh, I think I want to fight this dude. So um, the pin ring Kirk and said, Oh, I think we got to follow. I want to fight for the pin, but um, it would never happen. And, and then a week after, um, for the pin put a video up and said, um, someone to fight him from Waikato, and then Pin ringing me up and said, um, This is your chance to fight for the pin. So yeah, yeah, fighting him. So again. Uh, again, Tom and Bear. I know how you got the name Tom and Bear. You better explain why I call you the Tom and Bear, and everyone else is going to call you the Tom and Bear. You better tell that story. Um, it was a yeah. Hoff. First time I met Carl Hoff, um, he came back from France playing rugby, and um, first time I shake his hand, he's like, "How are you, Tom and Bear?" So it just came from there. <laughs> now, again, there is a, a noticeable size disadvantage for you up against Butterbean, and you're going to see it very shortly. It's the first time you guys have seen it. How do you counter that size advantage? Because he. There's no doubt in whatever you think about him, he's a bully in the ring. Yeah, no, nah, um, you're right, he's a bully in the ring, but um, um, I'm a bully in the ring too. Um, I've been fighting my whole life in Toma. Like, you know, living in Toma, he's been fighting for food and stuff, so yeah. Fight. Where are you? Uh, 134 at the moment, so. Which is remarkable. So that's down from 210 at the start of the year. Yep. Yeah, 210 kilos at the nines I was when I first came back, and um, yeah, I'm happy with the way I'm going. Uh, I'll be too good for this guy and um, you know, move on to bigger and better things. Um, you know, I've trained hard. I, I, it's just, I'm actually really, really peeved that I've got this matchup because I train like I'm, I'm fighting for a, a title fight and I'm fighting this bum, you know. Like you, you said I'm always fighting bums, well he's no different, to be honest. <laughs> Let's just all be honest here. Like, I'm, I'm a supreme athlete. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, yeah. Okay, do you want to have the last say? Because he will have the last say on Friday without a doubt. Yeah. Um, as I was saying, we thought Father Bing's base on Facebook. Can we get a translator? We thought Father Bing's base on Facebook, the Facebook will fall over, so thanks for that, Father Bing. But um, no, um, I've, been, I've been fighting my whole life too. So uh, now I look forward to it, and um, he's, he's a tall fella and got a rich on me, but. Um, um, yeah, I'll, I'll punch him. Yeah, we'll <laughs> <laughs> Just stand there because I'll bring him up over here. So this fight paying into TAV, uh, Brown Butterbean is a favourite of dollar seventy-seven head to head, and the Tong and Bear a dollar ninety-seven. This is a pro bout for two minutes rounds. Um, Brown Butterbean, if you come to the lectern, please. You've been hearing him talk about you being Peanut Butter Boy, and you've been calling him Winnie the Pooh, and everything else. Uh, I've been enjoying the build up. Um, this is a different fight for you, though. Oh, not really. You know, it's, it's always going to be the same result. Like, this is my um, second pro fight now. I turned pro on Le Leopold's card. Um, you know, I, I take this matchup to me as an insult. You know, to all the training I've been. Mean, I wanted someone a bit tougher. I fight this guy with one hand, just going to jab him the whole time. Like uh, he's got no idea. No, absolutely. I've said it the whole time in my build. He's got absolutely no idea what he's in for. Like, he, there's no. Um, He's a prop in rugby, come on, you know? Like, what do they do? Just shut their heads up. Other people's, you know what? 
and um, wrap people on the ground. Like, what's a six pack gonna do? It doesn't make your chore any better. Your chores. <laughs> That's good. You Actually, know? I think you might have to shave that. I'm serious because of oh, pro fights, you've got to shave your beards. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, that is part of the. It's part of the deal. No. <laughs> well, then you get finished. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, you have uh, you weighed 168 kilos for the uh, Batu Bay fight. You weighed 141 for the. The last fight you did, the Lomu 